Hey everybody, I'm Glover Stummy, the Pop Song Professor, and welcome to the best English class you're ever going to attend because we are going to be explaining Hopeless Opus by Imagine Dragons. And I actually have a special friend helping me today. Galaxy, yeah, can you say hi? Hey there, hey. Hopeless Opus is an important song to know about because it's from Imagine Dragons' Smoke Plus Smears album, but the song is super deep, has a very powerful meaning for us and it's it's just you listen to so much music that's so shallow but then you hear a song like hopeless opus or so many other imagine dragon songs and you're like wow music can still be deep it's also unique among imagine dragon songs because it's got this like chill relaxed laid back sound that really matches the lyrics as he kind of surrenders to fate and whatever happens to him and we're also explaining it because halo luke 117 brenda m joy scott and quite a few other people uh, actually asked for it. And guys, don't forget to vote for next week's Imagine Dragons song. Go ahead and comment it down below, upvote people who agree with you. And don't forget that today's sponsor is the Pop Song Professor podcast, where I just released a hopeless opus Imagine Dragons explanation that also includes references to the mailman in the Zelda video games. It's gonna be great. And getting into the explanation here, my first question as always is what do you guys think that this song is about? What does it mean? to you. My research and analysis has pointed me in the direction of considering that each of the verses contains two different misters. There's Mr. Cage Man, Mr. Fate Man, Mr. Safe Man, and Mr. Post Man. Dan Reynolds, the lead singer from Imagine Dragons, asks for something from each of these people. In the first verse, he says, hey, Mr. Cage Man, let me get a fresh breath, cherry bomb, headstrong, I can fake my own death, and then continues to ask, hey, Mr. Fate Man, later on, throw at me a sharp right. Uh, and so it's like he's kind of giving up on something. And so he's going to these people, fate, who's supposed to control the, the fate and like the world and everything that happens in it, right? That's the concept of fate. It's something that you can't alter. Uh, but he's also asking Mr. Cageman, something that's keeping him back from what he wants to be and saying, I'm headstrong. I want to go for it. I'll even fake my own death to try to get you off of my back. And so we see that Dan Reynolds is struggling with the ability to be able to do something that he wants to and they, these unseen forces, these abstract forces are keeping him from accomplishing it. Uh, the reference to Hey Mr. Fate Man reminds me of Demons where he says, they say it's what you make, I say it's up to fate. And so we see that he is a little bit of a fatalist where he kind of thinks like the world is just going to happen the way the world's going to happen and you can only work so hard, which is what this song is about. And that takes me to my second question. What role do you think fate plays in our lives? How much of our lives do you think we can control and how much of it is left up to unseen invisible forces? I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. And that takes us into the chorus where he sings, I've got this place that I filled with empty space, so I'm trying not to face what I've done, my hopeless opus. Now, opus is Latin for work, but it's work as a noun and kind of like a very important noun, not a verb. It's him saying uh, this creation, this thing I've accomplished, this great work I have done, something like that. Uh, so he's not just saying like, I have work to do. He's saying, no, my work. And it's like work with a capital W, it's important, but it is hopeless. He feels like he's never going to be able to accomplish it. And that's what this song is about after all. Uh, he says, I've got this place that I filled with empty space. And so there's like this place where your trophy is supposed to go in like the trophy case and he's put nothing there. And he's trying not to face what he's done because he just feels ashamed. Uh, and that takes us into the second verse where he says, hey, Mr. Safe Man, hustle me an okay. I can slide, take a dive, take it for the home team. Hey, Mr. Postman, slip me one more green note. And he talks about being broke after that. Uh, essentially with Mr. Safe Man, uh, that sounds like he's talking about an umpire, right? But he's saying, I'll, I'll you know, debase myself. I'll dive in, uh, I'll get dirty. I'll do whatever I need to do just so long uh, as you help me to get an okay, like a, a C grade, essentially. He just wants to be average. He just wants to pass. He doesn't need to be like a winner or something like that. He's just so tired of trying. And then Mr. Postman, he's asking, slip me one more green note. So some money uh, because I feel broke. I feel like... I haven't earned anything. I haven't done what I needed to do, and I just need a handout here. And that's what the whole song is about, is he's saying, I want to accomplish this great opus, my magnum opus, which is Latin for greatest work or great work. Uh, and he's saying he just feels like he can't do it. All he's got is that empty space to show for all of the hard work that he's done. It's unfortunate and it's sad, uh, but you also wonder how much of this he is blaming on fate and how much he's blaming on himself because you, you wonder if maybe Dan Reynolds believes that like fate is just going to happen to us because he's asking these four different abstract concepts like please, they're essentially all fate in a way. They're things that have happened to him that he couldn't control and he's saying, please uh, help me out here. I really do need the help. So I think it's a really cool song for that. Uh, it brings up a very interesting conversation and that kind of takes us to our inspirational thought of the day. Uh, and that's if you guys feel like your great work or something that you want to accomplish to help change the world is not being accomplished, I, my question for you actually first is what do you do about that? Like how do you feel about it? I, I like to think of the Pop Song Professor project and the way that I'm doing this and 
Uh, sometimes, some days, it's going slower than I had hoped it would. Some days I feel like I'm not accomplishing it quickly enough. And other days I feel like, oh man, we just had a great success. And so some days, yeah, I feel like it is kind of a hopeless opus. And that's all right. And you guys don't need to feel bad about me. Don't worry about that. I love doing this. And it's because I've come across this fundamental truth that sometimes relationships are more important than the great work. And I would say that this may be the solution to Dan Reynolds' problem. It's certainly been part of the solution to mine where I remember that because I have this channel, it gives me a great opportunity opportunity to interact with you guys and it's honestly my favorite part of this whole thing reading your comments responding to your emails meeting me on social media it's such a cool opportunity sometimes relationships are more important than your great work so if you're like i can't get this stuff done ask yourself but am I valuing the people in my life? I think that's the solution here, but I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about that. Today's playlist of the day is brought to you by the Pop Song Professor podcast, where we have this awesome playlist I just released about Hopeless Opus by Imagine Dragons. It's a little bit longer and more in depth than this. We get to listen to the music together, and we talk about how much we hate the mailman from the Zelda video games. He's just the worst. Uh, today's songs are Within Temptation's Angels, because it sounds like super creepy and awesome. Uh, and then we have Gold by Macklemore and Ryan Lewis, which sounds really happy and awesome. And then we have Fading American Dream by Street Dogs, which sounds super like rebellious and awesome. I picked these three songs because of the sounds and I wanted just to give you guys like this gift of super like weird, cool, feelings, so it's awesome, uh, and it's in a playlist in the description down below. Finally, comment of the day comes from Anderson, who is also a patron of this channel. Thank you for your support, Anderson. You're the coolest. Uh, she says uh, about yesterday's video when we talked about before you start your day, this song is my alarm tone, so when I wake up in the morning, I'm immediately reminded of the meaning. It helps me get up in the morning when I really don't want to go to class or work for whatever reason. And I think that's super powerful. The question I had asked was how do you get past like that feeling of depression you sometimes get in the morning. Uh, and I think that listening to the song or listening to music in general that makes you feel something else that's real and that's positive is a really powerful way to fight those feelings uh, that really shouldn't be there. So Anderson, thanks for your comment. Thanks for everybody else who contributed to that discussion. Tomorrow's video, I don't know what it's gonna be or if there is really going to be one, though it might be a throwback Thursday, we'll see. I'm gearing up for the Imagine Dragons like hellstorm of just songs from Evolve. We're gonna have videos, we're gonna have podcasts, we're gonna have blogs, it's gonna be crazy. So stick around for that, guys. Uh, don't forget to check out that podcast, and I'll talk to you soon.